afternoon. It is after work and I am just about to, not making dinner just yet. Um, I've been off for like 20 minutes now, but uh, I actually should have gotten this stuff out sooner, but I'm making jalapeno poppers and asparagus and shrimp with that, but just taking the, I want to say the cream cheese out so it can thaw a little bit. The bacon is thawing because I had it in the freezer. And yeah, did I say today is Thursday? <laughs> today is Thursday, yes. And that's all I got right now. Saturday and I'm about to have my breakfast I am sitting here that I say it was Saturday and I am just <clears throat> about to do absolutely nothing you guys the house is clean um, I don't have anything to do today and you guys that's the reason why sometimes I don't vlog a lot because if I'm sitting here not doing anything but watching TV Unless I have something to say to you guys. That's the reason why I don't pull out the camera. But right now, I'm about to eat my breakfast and just watch Godmothered on Disney+. Plus. So, yeah, I guess I should have watched it around Christmas because as I'm reading what it's about, it says that it's set at Christmas time. But whatever, I'll watch it now and then I'll let you guys know what I think. So I watched Godmothered and it was cute. It was really cute. And then I watch. There's three episodes of WandaVision. Oh, let me hold this better. There's three episodes of WandaVision on Disney Plus, and I like it. It's a spin on the superheroes, I guess, but I'm kind of confused because didn't he die even before Thantos had the rocks? And y'all know what I'm saying. So. I don't understand when this could be taking place and I'm just I'm just a little confused so if somebody could you know shed light on that please do so anyway yeah still doing nothing just sitting here watching TV and um, it's 11 20 the girls are awake but they're in their rooms so it's just me so I just wanted to give you guys like a little update on the pots I am absolutely loving them so easy to clean up is like non-stick and I'm absolutely loving it I've made every meal in the pots since I've got them and I'm just loving them I should have did this a long time ago 
it was overdue definitely I'm bored you guys so normally on days like today i would go out to like home goods hobby lobby or ikea or something like that and even though the like the stay-at-home order for sacramento has been lifted i don't think it has in like the la county and stuff like that even though it's been lifted for sacramento i am still trying to only go places i that i have to go until this whole thing is done and over with i want to do what i can to protect myself the people who live with me and people who i come across so yeah i'm bored in the house and i'm in the house bored yeah um just trying to find something to watch on netflix y'all what y'all doing time to go out to go potty He does that sometimes, you guys. Okay. So, you guys, another thing. Oh, he's coming. I hear him. All right. All right. I know you don't want to go out. It's like 35 degrees out there, but you got to go. Go ahead. Do your business, and then you can come back in. Good morning. It is Tuesday. So, I was going to say another thing that I do is... In the mornings when he doesn't want to come out of his crate when he's not in Savannah's room is I go to the broom closet right there and I like get his treat bag and I'll shake it and he'll come by like, ooh treat that's the only way that I can get him out of Savannah's room or out of his crate um, the nights that she doesn't feel like having him in her room she puts him in the crate and I know some of you guys don't agree with crating dogs that's fine He's only crated at night or when we leave to go somewhere because I don't have him room because he's a dog and he gets into a lot of stuff. We've let him roam before when we, when we weren't here and came back and it was all bad. Oh, and you guys, so I have some great news to tell. So Tariq and Annie had the baby, little girl, Kehlani Aria. She is so tiny. Seven pounds, three ounce, and 19 and a half inches. She's so tiny, so cute. And they're asking right now that I don't share her on YouTube right now. So when or even if they want me to, um, they give me the okay to show her to you guys, I will. But if that time doesn't come, then that's their wish wishes and I'm respecting that. But yes, you guys, I am officially a grandmother. I mean, I guess I was officially when she was pregnant <laughs> but you guys know what i'm saying so cute she looks like tyreek she has our noses um our noses are pretty dominant in my family genes and um looking at that kid it's like looking at tyreek it's like tyreek birthed her alone <laughs> she has her mom's lips and her skin color she has color so because you know she's a mixed kid but you know the way we can tell is we look at the ears and her ears are a little bit darker so she's going to get more color as the time goes on and right now her hair is like super straight has some waves to it so i guess it's not super straight when tyreek was born his hair was like it was curled like little ringlets stuck to his head um so yeah but anyway you guys um i'm in love my heart is full and i was so happy to finally see her and yeah um i have about five more minutes and he better finish otherwise i won't i mean i'll be able to hear him when he needs to come back in i could just come let him back in but um i wanted him to do all this while i was on break that way i won't have to worry about getting back up when i clock not clock back in but when i go back to work so yeah usually when it's this cold you guys it's literally maybe like 30 something degrees outside when it's this cold and raining he doesn't want to go out we have to force him to go out boston is bougie boston is a princess <laughs> doesn't like getting wet so we have to make him go out usually he stands by the door he'll do what he have to do and then he'll hurry up and come to the door and start whining to get back in but today he's taking his time so it must not be that cold to him but it's cold outside I better check on him. Are you ready? Took you long enough. Gotta get back to work. Mm, so I just made my coffee. 
my Wonder Woman mug. I forgot to take out my stir stick. Oh, so good. All right. Okay, whew. so it's much later. Like much later, it's at night. Well, duh. And there's a storm a brewing. I don't talk like that. And we are hearing all kinds of things outside. And the neighbors um, on my right, they have a canoe or something like that they, that they had on their shed. Well, it blew over, scared the living daylights out of me and Savannah. Savannah said she was about to run to her room. I didn't know what to think. I mean, I knew it was the storm, whatever, but, and I knew no Boston one, I knew no one was trying to break in, but Boston is very anxious. He won't sit down. He keeps wondering. Per usual. Per usual, yeah, but it's even worse. Boston. Hey, Boston. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? Okay, so I want to go get in the shower but I'm a little concerned that the power's going to go off and I won't be able to see anything. I don't know if you could tell the lights flickered. Sounds like my roof is about to fly off. It always sounds like that when we have bad storms, but yeah. And I'm charging my portable charger just in case the power does go off. That way I can still have some battery on my phone um, yeah just in case um, yeah you guys so um, not doing a whole lot I'm in my room now and yes I have my brown scarf on and my brown shirt on but I'm gonna go take a shower I think I'm gonna chance it because I need to get in the shower and I don't like even though I didn't do anything or go anywhere today I don't know I'm weird I don't like not being clean before I lay down in my bed. And yes, I'm sitting down in my bed, but laying down and sleeping is a whole different thing. I like being clean. So I take showers every night, you guys. TMI, I don't know, I don't know. You guys in ass. I'm watching the show Mom on Hulu. I'm on the fourth season. So have you guys watched that show? Is it still on? I don't think so, I don't know. I'm just rambling, I know. Okay, so I took a chance and took a shower. And not that I needed to be able to see if the lights went out. It's not like I was doing my hair or anything like that. But it's just, it would be dark. <laughs> so I was like, whatever. But I want to show you guys my little reading slash filming corner. Because I'm done with it. And you guys will already have seen the reveal by the time you see this video. So I'll just show you. Um, what I'm looking at here it is you guys and I know with the lighting it's like really weird and I need to put those bags away it's not garbage it's stuff that I need to just put away and in the video I didn't show that pillow right there because it's huge when I ordered it I didn't pay attention to the size I thought it was like a small lumbar pillow and it's like 20 by 30 so it was huge and I just kept it, but I don't like it there because whatever, it's like too dark. So yeah, that won't be staying there, but I don't know what to do with it now that I got it. So anyway, yeah, that's my little beach corner area, reading, filming corner. So yeah. Okay, the lights are flickering and some of my friends that live on the other side of town, they have lost power. Um, I seen on Facebook that they were posting about the power outage in their area so yeah I mean I know it happens but it's like first world problems you know lights out yeah and Boston's whining because he's still like really skittish right now because of the weather and he hasn't been that way a lot maybe because he's getting older I don't know mate I don't know I can't explain it but he has been really like agitated maybe that's agitated that's not a good word he's been really he won't settle down so yeah okay oh my goodness can you guys see that yeah that fell over last night from up there and it scared the living daylights out of us and I'm not mad or upset because it's just like, you know, that's nature. But I thank God it didn't hit the window. 
So yeah, I'm just at home and Shine and Savannah actually went to Walmart and I am watching a movie on Netflix called Banish. I just started it actually. So um, not really into it yet. I mean, it is good, but I decided to pick up the camera to talk to you guys and little Kaylani has been born and I did get the opportunity to meet her and hold her and hug her and smell her and she's so cute. I know I'm biased, but she's the cutest little thing ever. I get daily pictures of her. She's so cute. She has a head full of hair, you guys. So when he was born, I know they say old wives tale, whatever, but I totally believe this. I had heartburn so bad. He had so much hair and it was so curly and thick. And Annie, she said she had heartburn also. And Kehlani has so much hair. It's curly when it gets wet because they sent me a picture of her after she had her bath and it curled up. So I think between Tariq's hair and then Annie's hair because Annie's hair is straight. So, well, a little bit wavy. Yeah. Anyway, so I think it's a mixture of both except when it's wet. But when it's dry, you could tell it's definitely curly. Anyway, I know I'm rambling on and on because I'm so excited. And she's the cutest thing you guys the cutest thing and of course i do want to show you guys her when and if they even want me to put her on here they may never want me to put her on youtube totally fine because that's their decision it's my decision to do youtube and whatever like that so i will respect their decision but just know she's cute she's the cutest little thing i ever seen and i love her so much how can you love someone that She's not mine, but she's mine. She's an extension of me, put it that way. She's not mine. But how do you love someone that's not yours so much? I'm gonna cry, okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Girls are leaving me for four days. I have Cheyenne and Savannah in the car. Yeah, knee pads too. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Say hi Cheyenne. hi, Cheyenne. They don't see you often, and she says that. Say hi, Savannah. Hi, Savannah. Hi, Savannah. We're at Sacramento Airport, as as Savannah likes to say, Sacramento Intel Airport. She's not gonna pee on herself because yeah. she's scared of the flight. I just had a 60 ounce Red Bull, when I, it's not gonna be enough. Okay, and she hates flying. She's scared. I'm okay, get y'all stuff too. out. Oh, so you're not gonna get out and hug us? I am. You see me? Oh my gosh. They think I ain't gonna hug them. Okay. Where's your mask? You need to put it on. Oh my God. You need to put it on. Yeah, you need to put it on. Don't forget. Hurry up. I can't park here long. Somebody gonna come say something. Bye, girls. She's <laughs> hugging me again. <laughs> Bye. I love you. I love you too. All right. I want texts. I want pictures. I love you. I love you more. Bye. Bye. Be good. Be good. I'm not playing. Be good. Just me, I'm leaving. I dropped the girls off. I know I didn't tell you anything about their trip. Yeah, I dropped them off. They actually are going to Vegas. I didn't want them to go right now because of the pandemic, you know, things that are going on. They are adults, so I really can't stop that. I mean, I understand they needed a getaway. out for these cars you guys people are driving crazy and people don't know how to drive in the rain anyway where am i going I, oh ex exit <laughs> their flight is not until seven but i dropped them off early and even though there's not like a huge traffic or traffic hold on you guys i'm trying to talk to you guys and drive on the vegas and they've had this plan actually for a while i couldn't get the time off on my job so that's the reason why i didn't go and plus i kind of didn't want to go it's raining it's like winter i mean i'm sure there's not a whole lot to do in vegas right now and especially for us we don't drink and all that so yeah um yeah i mean i'm sure there's other things to do this is the first time in, how old is Cheyenne, 24? This is the first time in 24 years, 
honestly, you guys, that I will be home alone. And I'm not saying about it. <laughs> okay, so honestly, maybe about five to eight years ago, when I would talk about my kids moving out, and this car's need to hurry, I need to hurry to get my phone. When I would talk about my kids moving out and they're not gonna be around anymore and they're gonna be older doing their own things, whatever, I would cry and be like, boo hoo, you know, I'm not gonna have my babies around anymore. Y'all, I don't know, within the last year and a half, a switch went off in my head and it's like, um, this is mama's time now. Mama's time to enjoy her life. It was like, girl, yes, you're gonna miss them. Yes, it's sad that they're growing up, boo hoo boo, they're not gonna be babies anymore and whatever, but this is my time. I have devoted, Shine's 24. I have devoted 24 years of my life catering and raising kids. And, and even though they, the girls still live with me, whatever, you know, it's not completely over. This is mama's time. So, what I'm gonna do the four days that they're gone? Absolutely nothing. But be alone. It's gonna be me in Boston. It's gonna be a weird feeling though. Oh my God, you guys. But I, I just thought about that. 24 years since I've slept alone in my house. Yeah, that's gonna be strange. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be nice because the house is gonna be quiet. The house is going to be quiet, y'all. Y'all know my girls are loud. My girls are loud. When Tyreek lived with me, all my kids were loud. I'm loud, so I can't really, you know, blame them. Come from a loud family. Anyway, but the house is going to be quiet, and it's going to be clean. I'm going to barely have to do any dishes. I'm excited. Let's go home, y'all. Made it home. Austin, ready to be free? Oh, I need to put the toilet paper up. You ready to be free? Go, be free. Go. You're just gonna stay there? Okay, he'll come out. It's just you and me, Boston. I think dogs sense things because before I dropped them off, he was acting really weird and whining around Savannah. So I think he knew she was leaving. And since that's his person, he doesn't care about me or Cheyenne. So, what to do? Oh, you guys, I watch Bridgerton. Bridgerton? Bridgerton? Y'all know what I'm talking about on Netflix. And I finished it in two days. It is so good. Not for kids, but yeah. If you guys are looking for something to watch and you like the, I don't know, the like 1800s, um type of movies the old kind of movies definitely check out bridgington yeah boston did he go get in his crate so he seen savannah leave but he didn't see her coming back so he's wandering around the house looking for her he's like a little lost puppy boston when we got him they did tell us that cocker spaniels have like not attachment issues but they are really clingy when they pick their person so, yes, you are very clingy, Boston. Just sit down. It'll be okay. It's just me and you for the next four days. Let's go. He finally settled down. So it's eight o'clock and I am just, what am I doing? <laughs> I am editing the reveal video for my room. So you guys can finally see it. Everything is complete. I was waiting on one thing because I don't know if you guys noticed, but at the beginning of every year, I do a new intro and a new outro. Well, I thought Boston was trying to come in the kitchen. Anyway, I did a new intro, which you guys will see, but the outro, I'm just going to have to use an old one because I'm not done. I'm not quite done editing my, um, the one that I want to use and yeah so let me edit that you guys it is so quiet boston's wandering around like i think he's looking for me the only time he looks for me and hangs out with me and when savannah's not here so we're gonna be really close for the next four days and then when savannah gets home um he's going to ignore me 
he really just went in his crate. Okay, so I'm still editing the video. Um, it's about a 20 minute video. Anyway, um, I got a FaceTime call from Cheyenne. They made it to Vegas. I guess they had a lot of turbulence here in California, but once, once they crossed over to Nevada, the weather changed and then it got better. And also, the funny thing is, they were on the same exact flight with Melissa. So, Melissa's there for her birthday, my friend Melissa from Mel BZ TV. And yeah, but they made it there safe and I could sleep well tonight. They made it there safe. I knew they would, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, you guys, I'm not doing, what time is it? It's 1047, I have been here for a while editing this video and doing a voiceover I don't have a fancy editor I use movie maker and you know I'm doing the voiceover in certain parts and it's just taking me a long time because I want to get it right and then it just at one point my screen went black and I thought I lost everything and I'm like I'm gonna shut this down I'm not even gonna do anything more tonight but the, it came back up and I was able to restore everything that I was doing so yeah and Boston is still wandering around. He is in his crate right now. He walked into his crate. He's been walking in and out of his crate. He's acting really strange because Savannah's not here. I know when me and Savannah go visit my mom and then Cheyenne is here with him, Cheyenne said he acts the same way, just really, really weird. It's just strange to me that he hates being in a crate. He absolutely hates the crate, which I understand, you know, but when he doesn't have to be in it, he goes in it. I don't know, maybe it makes him feel safe when she's not here, I don't know. Anyway, let me finish this video. So I don't know if that's clear enough for you guys to see, but one hour, 28 minutes. This video is only like 19 minutes, so there should be no way it takes this long, but that's what happens when you have sucky internet. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so I actually just jumped in the shower and now I'm sitting here I was going to wait until um, the video finishes uploading on YouTube before I go to bed but I'm just gonna let it do its thing um, it's almost midnight it's almost midnight oh my word it's almost midnight time sure does fly when you're having fun anyway I know I look a mess um, I'm gonna go to bed. I came back out here because I actually thought it was earlier than that. Thought I was gonna sit here and watch TV. I mean, I could sleep out here, but I'd rather go in my bed. So, alright you guys. For now, I'm going to bed. Mm -hmm.